guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting on the floor because I'm going to be showing you my bookmark collection. Now I realize that's not really a good explanation as to why I'm sitting on the floor, but I guess I figured it would be easier to show you this way and I'm lazy. So also he's going to be in this video and he's probably going to try to eat everything. I set my camera to autofocus. But that doesn't mean that it's going to work, so we're just going to have to wait and see. So I have this stack. You guys may have seen it in my videos. It kind of hangs over the shelf, these little tassels. So I have this stack, and then I also have this bowl that has all kinds of stuff in it. So we'll start with the stack. I have this one that says, Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm doing the beauty guru crap to see if it works. Then I also have this one, which is Footprints in the Sand. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that poem. And then I have this one that's actually still in the plastic. This is a Fault in Our Stars one, and it says some infinities are bigger than other infinities. And it looks like this. And the little tassel has... A little star. I don't know if you can see that. Then I have this one that has Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, which is the love is patient, love is kind verse. And I also have another one that's still in the plastic. It says keep calm and type on. And this is one that um, is for writers and it has a little stone right there. And this is actually one of my favorites. It's the Wizard of Oz one and it just has this little red tassel. This next one that I have is keep calm and have a cupcake and it is pink and it is very pretty and it has this little tassel with a few beads on it which I really like. I also have this one that says book a written work of fiction or nonfiction transcribed in a set of bound paper pages never needs charging pages are preloaded never malfunctions no instructions necessary can be autographed collectible doubles as a flower press can function as a doorstop and smells good like uh, likes a bookmark. That's this one. And for some reason I keep a lot of these in the plastic. I don't, I don't know why. I guess to preserve them. I don't know. This one says never judge a book by its movie, which is very cute. A lot of these I got from Barnes & Noble, but um, a few of them I've had for years and years. And a few of them I also got from publishers when they sent me books. This one it says hold that thought and it's, it looks like my dog got a hold of it, but it just has like little flaggy things. Then I also have an electronic dictionary bookmark and I got this as a gift from my mom and it's really awesome because you can put it in your in your book. It's paper thin so there's no issue there and then this little bit sticks out of the top and if you come across a word that you don't understand or know the definition to you can just punch it in and it tells you the definition to that word so it's pretty nifty. This one says too much of a good thing can be wonderful and it has a cute little pug on it. <laughs> this one is a Sheldon Cooper one and it just says bazinga. And along with that theme, um, I've got the Soft Kitty, Warm Kitty song uh, bookmark, and it looks like my dog chewed up whatever was at the end of this, but this is the bookmark and all of its cuteness. And then I have tons and tons of these paper bookmarks. They are actually from my local bookstore, and I used to work there. And they give you these free bookmarks every time you shop there. So I have quite a few. They're all, like, they're some of them are the same, but this is how many I have. That's a lot. Because they give you, like, say if you bought, like, five books, they'd probably give you two or three. Um, like, this one says, a house full of books and a garden of flowers. This one says, a good book is a good friend. This one says, it is a great thing to start life with a small number of really good books, which you, which are your very own books for every age and interest. The man who doesn't read has no advantage over the man who doesn't know how. A bookstore is one of the only pieces of evidence we have that people are thinking. So these are my bookmarks from there, huge stack. And I do use them from time to time. I didn't see the point of tossing them because you never know when you might need one. And now I have like 50. And I have an Alice in Wonderland, which is the Mad Hatter, and the tassel's gone, which is probably because of my dog. Um, this one says, I read past my bedtime. Again, the tassel is all jacked up, probably because of my dog. And then I have a bookmark that I think I got from a publishing company, and it's an advertisement for Wake the Dawn by Lorraine Snelling. So it's just a little random something-something to have. And then this one... 
I got from a bookstore that I went to. I'm not sure where I went for this one. Author's bookstore? I'm not Oh, this was from the airport. So I bought a book at the airport when I probably already had some with me. And it says, good as it is to inherit a library, it is better to collect one. And this is what it looks like. And the quote is on the back there. Then I have um, a bookmark from Candace Nobel, I think is how you pronounce her last name. I have two um, because I think I won an ARC way back uh, called Born in Flames. And these are the two bookmarks that I got with that. And... It, Another bookmark that I got, I can't remember where I got this one from. I know that it came free from someone or something, but it's a little holographic um, horsey one. And it says, Greetings from Kentucky on the back. Maybe Tiffany gave me this one. I'm not sure if she lives in Kentucky, but yeah, I have this one too. Then I have this one from my library that says, Spark a Reaction. And then I have another one that's from Ping One, and it says every page will leave you breathless. Breathless reads, and it has a list of books on the back. Origin, The Innocence, Black City, Fallen Kingdoms, and Venom. Then I have one that says acquiring a dog may be the only opportunity a human ever has to choose a relative. And this one I've had for a long time. All the ones that look a little bit different like this, um, I've had for quite a while. This one is also from my library, and it just says Spark. And this one as well, Imagine the Reaction, Fizz Boom Read. I think this was for some kind of theme that they had going on for summer. Last summer, it wasn't this summer. This one is from Scholastic Book Week, Children's Book Week. Um, and it has like different books that different age groups could read. And then I have a book outlet. I think it's a book outlet. Book outlet thing. And then another one, which is $5 off coupon that I have not used yet. Now let's dig into the bowl. This one is not really a bookmark. It's from Crafted Van and they do really cute magnetic bookmarks and I kept it um, because it's about right, the right size for a bookmark so I just kept it. And then I have these that Tiffany got me and I haven't used them yet because I don't want to ruin them. The Mad Hatter. Let me do this just in case. And the White Rabbit. And then there's a few that I ordered from Crafted Van just because of that. They're kind of mixed in here so I know that this one was from Crafted Van. This is an up bookmark. And then I have a little business card from Once Around Bookshop, which is an Instagram bookseller that I buy from a lot. Um, I just made a huge order with her, so I kept her little business card in there. And then I have this little sticker for Rogue. When I pre-ordered Rogue, I got Lilith's egg necklace with it. And this is just a little sticker that says, Like Lilith, you have a cunning spirit and a sharp mind. You are always one step ahead and everyone knows better than to mess with you. And then I have this little guy. It's a little muffin with a mustache. I have a lot of these post-it uh, flag tabby thingies because I like to use those in books and I have them in all shapes and sizes and all different colors and I buy them a lot so I have like all of these <laughs> and then I have these little um plant ones I forget what they're called but they just sit in the center of your book um and when you fold your book up it goes like that and then when you open your book it's I think it's called a sprout they're really cute I really like them I have like three or four of them I think then I have this little Frappuccino guy, and I know that this one is from Crafted Van because I ordered it myself. I think this is from them too. It's like a little tea cup and a saucer and some sugar cubes. This is from them as well. This one says coffee. I have some that smell like cherries. I sent these to another booktuber that was doing the traveling book and I had to get some for myself because they smell good. They smell like cherries. So this one is a little popsicle and all of these have a really nice cherry smell. This is a little ice cream cone that says delish and a little piece of pie. I don't know if this is focusing or not. This one is a cute little cupcake and I love it so so much. So I have some owl ones. Here's one of them. And then I have this owl and this one. Then I have some little kitty ones. They're very, very small. Very, very small kitty bookmarks. And then, and they say like meow on the back. Like this one has a ball of yarn on the back and it says meow. And I have a little Boston Terrier Christmas uh, bookmark that I really, really love because I used to have a Boston Terrier. And for those of you that don't know, that's what this tattoo is. It's, um, it has my dog's name and a paw print and a halo over the paw. 
and his name was Buddy and I had him for about almost 13 years. I got some more Christmas ones and these smell like peppermint. So I have this little happy Christmas tree and candy cane and the snowman which is probably my favorite out of these and this little cute stocking. This is a little kitty one in a frog suit. This is a little kitty one that looks like it's in like a laundry basket or something. This is, oh gosh, my uh, history is not good. So tell me what that is because I can't remember. And then I have this guy, the Eiffel Tower. And I think this is Big Ben. I'm pretty sure that's Big Ben. This cute little one is in flowers. And this one is probably my favorite because he has his cool guy glasses on because he's awesome. And then I have cute little animals. I have an elephant, and on the back of this one it says remember. I have this little piggy, and it says oink on the back. This porcupine or hedgehog, and it says cute. And the lion, and on the back it says king. This is a coffee one, and it says yum 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 on the back. of This one says in the lunch bag, and it's like a little cute hamburger. And this one is potato chips, and on the back it says crunch. And this one is milk, and it says chillin' on the back. So those are all of my bookmarks out of here, and all of my bookmarks that are stacked up there for my shelf when I normally film. So now you guys have seen all of my bookmarks except for my pickle bookmark that I'm using right now, which is probably the cutest one besides him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that everything was in focus so that I can actually use this video, but we'll just have to wait and see when I go to edit it. Let me know in the comments below if you collect bookmarks. Hopefully I'm not the only one. I doubt that I am, but every time I go to a bookstore, I have to buy a bookmark or get a free bookmark because a lot of bookstores will have them like set out on the counter where you can get them or whatever for free. So I usually grab them when I have the opportunity to. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you like seeing this cute little face. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I can't see myself, so it might be focusing and I'm just putting my hand behind it for no apparent reason. But that's okay. We'll deal with it. There, stop trying to eat everything. Don't take my bookmarks. I'm going to have to put these in my lap because he's trying to eat them. My dog is eating hay. Like, I don't even know if I'm doing this in frame since I can't see myself. They are actually from my local... Bear, stop stealing my stuff. Stop it. Nope. Trying to prevent my dog from eating everything. Stop it. So they kind of, they all generally... Nope. 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 Those are not for you. Nah, they're not for you. Back off. Not for you. Stop it.